A community in shock. Police say a teenage boy was ambushed as he and his twin sister returned home from work late last night. I'm Shana Humphreys. I'm Jason Martinez. Neighbors and others in the area have been visiting the family's home as police investigate. Our Hank Flynn has been following developments all day. Hank, what's the latest? Sure. Hey, Jason, Shane, a rough day out here on Ferriston Drive in Olney as people find out about what happened, drop by, hold one another, cry on the front lawn, some even working up the nerve to knock on the door and pay respects. This is the place, Jason, Shana, where police say three men lay in wait for a 16-year-old to come home from his shift at McDonald's so they could murder him in front of his twin sister. Police say they haven't got a lot to go on. The young victim was targeted. We do not know at this time at all why he would have been targeted. The intention, specificity, and ferocity of the attack are stunning. 15 rounds fired from two assassins' guns last night around 10 o'clock hit 16-year-old Ajay on Jackson 10 times, killing him, say police. He'd just gotten home from work at the McDonald's at Adams and Tabor. Angela Smith and Keenan Hudson paid respects, but remained stupefied. I, I don't know what to say. I don't even know what I could look her in the eyes and say. Your child was coming home from work, and now he's not here. He's gone. It, it had to be some type of hate crime, but what could a 16-year-old do to somebody, you know, for him to deserve something like that? It doesn't. Nobody deserves any type of assassination of like that. Police were at the McDonald's asking questions today when we dropped by. The manager told us that she knew the victim but couldn't make any comment. Bullet holes pockmarked the back windshield of a car that had been parked in front of the scene. Several cameras and doorbell cameras overlook it, and police are pulling it all. We're also working all other normal investigative angles, um, but right now we don't have any solid direction on who's responsible, but we know that from the way the incident uh, unfolded that people were waiting to attack him. Mayor Kenny on that city violence call said that illegal guns are blowing up disputes that kids should be talking their way through. That they can talk to learn how to talk to each other and work out their problems in a, in a reasonable, peaceful way, uh, even if that resorts sometimes in a somebody punching somebody but the availability of guns and will continue to be a problem when you can get a gun in Pennsylvania faster than you get a driver's license. Sure. Now, Jason, Shana, the police description of the shooters is not great. They describe three black males wearing black clothing with black masks on video that they'll be getting may paint a clearer picture. Some of it will come from the home of the Philadelphia police officer who apparently lives next door to the victim, which says everything you need to know about the crime, guys, the audacity of it. Maybe the shooters knew a cop lived right in front of the scene. Maybe they didn't. What seems clear now is that they didn't care. If you do know or have any information on who pulled triggers here or has any information on it, please call Philly Police immediately. Okay. Guys? Hank Flynn and only uh, thank you very much, Hank.